All right, everyone. Sadly, the FCC has advanced uh, Biden's Digital Communism Act, also known as the Digital Equity Act. Again, I would give maybe a normal administration the benefit of the doubt and just assume that they were being ignorant with their language in the bill and that the road to hell was paved with good intentions. But I can't imagine good intentions coming from the Biden administration since it in a wanton manner has violated the Constitution over and over again. This has been found by numerous courts. So, I mean, violated it in the legal sense, as in courts have actually shot down a, quite a few proposals from uh, the Bidenistas over there. Link in the description, just to sum up about this. The Digital Equity Act is basically this. The way it's being fronted, the facade, is, well, we're just trying to make sure that, like, uh, broadband carriers can't discriminate against people uh, based on, you know, any protected class. Of course, it depends on what kind of class they are. Uh, you'll know. There, there are multiple problems with the bill, though. That's just how it's being presented. So it's presented as we want to fight discrimination. Discrimination that really isn't happening. Um, but, you know, we, we can get into that maybe in the live stream later. I'll probably talk more about it. By the way, Brendan Carr did a dissent against this decision, so good on him. We got one person at the FCC that's actually doing their job. Here's what it'll actually do. And it has to do partially with the loose language uh, that's, that's the framework of this rule. Uh, and, and it probably will be injuncted by the court. And by the way, I strongly urge everyone, if you have the capability of doing so, you should probably raise a stink about this. Like, there should be petitions and so forth going on literally now. As in, don't wait, get the ball rolling. Other content creators should pitch in as well. And I would encourage any potential litigant to uh, sue the Biden administration over the legality of this rule. Because here's the problem. If you actually read the, the rule, which now I guess, I don't know if it gets imposed right away or if it still has to be, have one si a final signing or something like that. I think it goes into effect like now, unfortunately. What'll end up actually happening is that governments will do the differential enforcement shuffle. They're going to t look at this rule and keep in mind, and this has happened before, bureaus can take up a very wide interpretation of rules even when they haven't been authorized explicitly by Congress. Of course, there is some possible illegality just expanding the FCC in such a manner anyway uh, without any further cases. So again, hopefully there will be litigation ongoing that'll block this from ever being a thing. But the rules language allows it to be potentially interpreted as allowing the FCC to effectively come in and nullify elements of a company's terms of service modify them in any way they should choose, add to them whatever they should choose, all under the blanket that we're fighting discrimination. So, for example, part of it is income-related discrimination. Let's say that I'm providing broadband access and somebody is too poor to afford the faster internet option. Can they now potentially sue me and the FCC potentially could side with them under the auspices that I'm not getting the same data speed as someone who has more money? Potentially, I can. Now, would that go forward in a court and not get laughed out of court in the average area in the United States, the average district? Of course, it'd get laughed out of court because it's asinine. It has nothing to do with the bill. But if the FCC decides to defend that concept and say, look, we were given this ability explicitly. We've decided to rewrite the TOS of this company to be non-discriminatory so that we would have equity and broadband coverage. So all of a sudden now, the wealthier person is not going to even have the option to pay for the faster internet. Either everyone gets the crummy internet or everyone ends up having to pay more and the price is locked. This will also create more monopolization, just exactly the same as the SEC's decisions do. Why do you think they go after some companies but not others with regards to crypto trading and things like that? They'll go after one exchange but the other exchanges and could it be that people working on the other exchange donate more to Congress or something? No, that's never happened before in the history of the United States that there would be any shenanigans within government. They're going to do the same here. Well, two companies have similar rules, but only one of them gets hit for the same exact thing. It will effectively... Well, you're going to end up with a more limited internet. What you're going to end up with probably is effectively price control by the government on internet services for broadband users which means the internet will be crummy because, again, you're either going to have higher prices because now you've, you've established a de facto monopoly. Nobody else is going to get in on the market and it'll slowly winnow down. 
or everyone gets crummier internet speed. It's effectively the socialization of the internet. The, the concept of calling it digital equity is just such a goddamn facade anyway. It says effectively, read the bill. Again, link in the description, read it for yourself. Does that have anything to do with equity or is that the facade that's covering a bill that effectively just massively expands government control over the internet? It allows them to do effectively whatever they want for any platform out there. It goes beyond just the ISP level too. Uh, again, in, in the lengthy version of this bill, it goes beyond that. Uh, it's, it's a terrible idea. And again, we're being warned by one of the higher ups in the FCC itself that it's a bad idea. The, the voice in the wilderness, the, the, lone, the, the lone dude who actually is doing his job, Brendan Carr. So again, congrats to him for being sane. He should speak out more. He should get a petition going. Hey, I work for the FCC. I'm asking the American people to please not give this bureau so much power because it's probably illegal to impose the rule in the first place based on current court uh, uh, cases. Certainly should be injuncted and you should bring a case before. Uh, maybe Brendan Carr brings a goddamn case himself. Who knows? Uh, he argues before the Supreme Court. Uh, Your Honor, I would rather not have this much power because it's a bad idea. You're trying to Chinify the internet. It's, it's going to make it very difficult for U.S. tech firms uh, to continue existing. You're going to have a less competitive, le probably less speedy and or more pricey internet in general uh, with a government that lords over it, pretending that it's doing so to make sure indigenous people aren't discriminated against. Okay, let's say that I have uh, a network, a broadband network, and uh, it's operating in Vermont. Am I probably fiscally capable of providing the the better service in a place like Burlington, like in the Champlain Valley, or in the Northeast Kingdom, which is very rugged, very underpopulated. Probably the former, right? This has been a problem with the Comcast monopoly in the state of Vermont for years, by the way. The state of Vermont's government lords over Comcast, which is the sole broadband provider, if I remember correctly. Uh, and then, you, you, again, you can pay for faster internet. I guess that won't be allowed anymore. It'll be difficult for live streamers in rural areas, I suppose. People have to get Starlink. Because I don't think this applies to satellite coverage. Well, at least Elon Musk has given us a decent way out. Yeah, maybe I'll sign up for that at some point in the future and hook up a couple of fucking panels in the backyard in Rutland. Probably have to be better than uh, Comcast anyway. Probably be better than even their boosted service. This will socialize the internet. As in socialism, not as in get it to meet new friends. So you'll have less friends on the internet because it'll be, I mean, U.S. users, I guess they'll have to start using European sites and shit like that. Doesn't make any sense. And by the way, it's a solution looking for a problem. What level of discrimination in coverage currently exists? Not much of it. Uh, when there is a problem, there's already litigation that can go on in the normal legal system. You don't even need the Bureau to act. The FCC's expansion here is unnecessary. There's no problem that actually really exists that's even being addressed. It's just a naked power grab and it has to be stopped. That's about all. Peace out.